A local man accused of multiple women, accused by multiple women of stalking and threatening them has his day in court and his alleged victims were there too. Let's get you up to speed. 34 year old Josiah James Johnstone was out on bond after pleading guilty to stalking and criminal threats. A judge issued a warrant about two months ago when he did not show up for his court date. His time on the run came to an end earlier this month when a bounty hunter tracked him down in Nevada. Today Johnstone appeared at the Slow County Courthouse. He was greeted by a group of his alleged victims. KSBY's Megan Healy is live in San Luis Obispo with their stories. Megan? Well, Karina, these women are from all around the Central Coast and even out of town, and they all say that John Stone harassed, stalked, and even threatened them. It's time for him to be stopped. Nearly a dozen women from the Central Coast are rallying against this man, 34-year-old Josiah Johnstone of Atascadero. One Santa Margarita woman says Johnstone threatened her years ago when she tried to break up with him. He was going to come to my house and burn it down with my mom in it if I left him, if I called the police. Susanna Fletcher never thought she'd hear Johnstone's name again. That is until the DA's office recently called wanting to know more about him. He said it's uncanny how similar your story is to these other women and would you be willing to testify? Her story is one this Grover Beach woman and many others say they can relate to. He approached me through my business and I have reason to believe that he stalked me through social media before approaching me. Both women filed restraining orders against Johnstone, they say, to protect themselves and their families. And I was very fearful that he would go after one of my children. A Bay Area woman says in June 2015, Johnstone guilted her into letting him crash on her couch. And manipulated them for money, for sex. Um, for a place to stay. When John Stone skipped his July hearing, bounty hunter Richard Dunbar was tasked with bringing him back. While trying to find John Stone, Dunbar says he found more victims and ran into his own problems. And, uh, he was going to make an arrangement to surrender himself to us. We gave him our email to make that happen and Josiah threatened me. These women say they are joined together by a man they no longer trust. They found comfort walking to Tuesday's hearing together. They're all super strong and if there's any other women that are out there, I hope that they will come forward. I hope that they will too come forward and join us. Johnstone is now being held without bail and the DA's office say they don't have official reports from these women or any of the victims prior to 2017, but they do say that the allegations from prior years are consistent with those stalking and criminal thefts. Reporting live and local in San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSPY News. Megan, thank you. We did speak to Johnstone's attorney today. He denied our request for an interview. Johnstone will be back in court October 3rd.